Hi, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So, a um, couple of things. I know I told you guys that I would let you know uh, when there was going to be a free book promotion on any one of my books. Um, but I hadn't realised that the colours I see had actually looped on to its next promotion cycle <laughs> um, until after I'd filmed um, last week's vlog. So I, without thinking about, you know, letting you guys know on this one, <laughs> I set up for the free promo days to be this weekend um, that I'm filming this one so it is as I speak currently on its second day of being free um, so by the time this one goes up it will be back to normal price again um, however Heine Boy is also on its uh, next promo cycle um, I haven't yet sorted when the free promo days are going to be for it um, might be next weekend to to capitalise on anybody who has got the colours I see this week and has managed to get through it. Um, I know it can take a few days for people to get through because it is the longest one, but for some reason, the colours I see is my best is my best seller. I mean, I know uh, it's mostly in terms of um, page reads and in terms of free copies um, that it has kind of edged ahead um, but it is hands down the one that sells the most um, or the one that gets the most people getting the free copies or um, page reading and I don't know why that is maybe I maybe because I mean I know it's the hardest one to market because it is a doorstop um, so it's it's sort of like sits in this sort of very weird section where it is it's a long book for people to have to you know get 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 on and, and get reading. Um, then again, it's one I suppose that people can take a bit more time with. You know, it's designed. It's not meandering necessarily, but it's it's designed for people who um, I. And I will quote from the uh, reader's favourites review. It's a book for people who like spending a long time getting to know their characters intimately. That is the type of story that it is. Um, that, that reflects in the length of it. That reflects in the style of it. Um, so it's one of those books that when people are willing to put the time in, then yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's absolutely a fantastic read. And I'm not just saying that as the proud author. <laughs> I feel a little bit sad now. Um, but yeah, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those where it shouldn't move as many copies as it does, either by the page reads or by the, um, the free promo. And it, I think it's also sold the most individual copies normally as well, although, um, both Hyena Boy and Echo are catching up with that a little bit too. Um. So yeah, it kind of sits in this kind of weird spot where, on the one hand, it's difficult to, um, it, it's, it's of the three, it is the least marketable because of its length. And yet, at the same time, it's hitting something that people are after. Um, I don't know if that is just because it happens to be LGBTQ+. Um, or if, you know, it has the most interesting description or, you know, people are reading the, the sort of the sample and it's got like the, the biggest draw. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but there is something about it which means that it tends to do a lot better than it theoretically should. And um, which is, I think I, I sort of mentioned before. I had um, been given a little bit of advice from one of my wonderful Twitter friends um, to maybe consider breaking the book up into, into smaller books, um, which obviously would take a little bit of work and, you know, having those. The plan would have been for me to have those as 
separate books, the big book, and then you know somebody wanted to have like the complete collection. That's what the the original one would be for. Um, but I partly didn't do it because it would require a lot of work, sort of rejigging uh, a few things in order to make them work as separate individual books. Um, but I also didn't do it partly because it does. Like even though it is, it theoretically is a dauntingly long read. For some reason, it does sell. <laughs> for some reason, it always does well. Um, you know, whenever I do uh, a, a bargain booksy promo for it, it tends to be the one that will get the most sales. Um, Heine Boy, even though Heine Boy has the most reviews. Um, probably does maybe the second best there, and Echo doesn't tend to do very well at all. Um, though Echo sort of managed to pick up a little bit uh, recent, more recently, um, but you know, even, even though I imagine Echo is probably a slightly more marketable book, it just it just doesn't <laughs> seem to get as many sales. Um, likewise, High in a Boy tends to do well off the bat of The Colours I See, and um, the, the two books do kind of complement each other. And I would, I would sort of like say Heine Boy is probably the next best moving, um, probably not by a whole lot, um, after The Colours I See. But, you know, whenever I have the free promotions, like, The Colours I See will do, like, three times better than Heine Boy or... Um, or uh, Echo will, and it's it. I don't know what it is that it hits, um, but it does tend to hit. So yeah, I, I, it's absolutely one of those sort of situations where I'm kind of like, yeah, I, I could do like shorter books, but I'm not sure I need to. Um, case in point. So towards the end of last week, I started getting page hits again for the colours I see. Um, and again, I'm still in that situation where, you know, I'm not getting enough page hits to not know it's a single person reading. <laughs> bless you, bless you, whoever you are. Bless you, whoever you are. Um, and I do know as I got all the way through to the end of Colours I See over, I think, about five or six days, and then they read Hyena Boy. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> really? That happens. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm not concerned about leaving the colours I see as a longer book. That's why I'm not concerned about working out ways of breaking up No Doors Allowed or the fourth book when I come to, to publishing the fourth book because yeah, the door stops and yeah, probably eventually when you know people start getting a bit more accustomed to my work, they're probably not going to do as well as my shorter books. But right now, I mean, The Colours I See is doing well enough. Um, the Colours I See is definitely doing well enough for me to be reasonably happy with the idea that uh, it doesn't need to be broken up. Um, I mean, I, I think as I said in my last one, um, I will probably review the situation again maybe sometime next year after No Doors Allowed has come out to sort of see if it's still, you know, that's still the situation. But, you know, some people like spending a long time getting to know characters and, you know, that's that's what the colours I see is for. That's what No, no, doors, allowed, no doors Allowed is for. I mean, there's a reason I keep coming back to the Never Aten set, um, the Never Aten, uh, the, the world where Never Aten is, <laughs> trying to find the right words, <laughs> having a moment. Um, and there's a, a reason why I keep coming back to the Never Aten setting, why I keep coming back to the Never Aten characters, because it's just, there's something about them which, you know, is engaging, it's it's appealing, it's, um, it's very much that kind of feeling of, you know, these are people that I, I wish I did know, these are people that I want to know more about. And, you know, one of the major things that worries me with the whole companion book style of The, Col the Colours I See and Hyena Boy is that, you know, 
I worry that people think might you know start reading the second one after they've read whichever one they've read first and go this is just a rehash of the other one and, they, and they're not there there's enough differences that yes there are crossover scenes but there's enough differences that they are two very separate stories that just happens to share to share the same timeline um, and and the same characters uh, but they are very very different stories and the fact that you know the person who read the colors I see last week went on to read Hyena Boy, like literally stopped reading The Colours I See and started reading Hyena Boy. <laughs> and I know that because the Hyena Boy got page hits on the same day they would have reached The End of Colours I See, just based on what I know the page counts are for all those books. And um, yeah, so that is why, going back to my original point, um, Hyena Boy will be free have its five, and I'm going to do the five days in a row. I'm I'm going to do this um, because even though, and you know, it, even though I know the weekends theoretically are better, momentum sort of needs to build a little bit, and that's one of the things I sort of found when I was experimenting um, with the previous free promotions um, is that actually the colours I see did better as a five day promotion, uh, sort of five days in a row promotion, then either Heine Boy or Echo did breaking the days up. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to do, going to try Heine Boy as a five day straight one again. Um, more than aware that, you know, unfortunately <laughs> it's probably not going to do as well as the colours I see because for some reason people just love that book. <laughs> <laughs> they they see it and it just hits it just hits whatever it is that it hits it hits it exactly the right way for people to want that book um and obviously when it's you know free it's probably encouraging them a little bit more because it's like okay i'm going to take take the chance on this really long book that i don't have to pay for if only i could get them to take the chance on a really long book when they do have to pay for it <laughs> but yeah it, it sort of makes sense to sort of follow this up um having a free promotion for Heine Boy next weekend it is like the shortest book in the collection so hopefully it will do a little bit better with people sort of you know maybe part way through or having made it all the way through um the colors I see kind of going oh look this the, the other book's free I might as well pick it up now you know because I'm enjoying the first one so much <laughs> although technically speaking they're not one to <laughs> Te technically speaking they're just you know either or depending what one um, what order you want to go and I really and this is one of the things um that I really kind of uh, I, I kind of want to know because Jay's story in canon like in canon within the the never racing universe um Jay's story is actually notebooks that like it's written in, in notebooks that's that's the style of it um and those notebooks are canon objects in the never rating uh, universe. So you know, I I really want to be there when like somebody gets to the end of the colours I see and goes, oh look, there, there's another book. Opens that book and sees that it's a notebook because the notebooks are referenced right at the end of the colours I see. Someone's not allowed to read them. So it's it's kind of like I I for me, I think it would be I think it's almost like the more mind blowing way to kind of go that way around with it, where you've read the colours I see first and then you see Heine Boy is a notebook. <laughs> Heine Boys is a series of notebooks, not chapters. Um I think in, in terms of if you're like really into the story and you've um, taken a lot out of of the colours I see to sort of have that kind of mind blow moment where you kind of go, oh, oh, now I get to read this thing um, that I, I've you know, just been made aware of like in the last few paragraphs. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's that sort of that's that's kind of what you want that that sort of moment. Um, so I think you know when I when I kind of debate which way round is the better way round for people to actually kind of read these two stories, I'm like that's got to be like the more mind blowing moment. But 
you go into that one then knowing how things sort of pan out and end um because obviously you've you've gotten past everything in in the colors i see so it, it's more a case of okay um i, I know why these are still around i know you know and, and various things like that so um in in terms of sort of the, the sort of the flip on that you you know if you if you read Heine Boy first you then go into the colours I see this kind of more pending sense of okay I know this moment is going to happen um how why when um you know in it, it, it's 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 a different feel it's a different feel I think you get more of a mind blow oh my god this is a really cool moment going from the colours I see to Hyena Boy, whereas Hyena Boy just changes the atmosphere. Um, the colours I see if you if you happen to read that one first, I think that's kind of the way of looking at it. But I wouldn't necessarily say there was a right order. I, I know I, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I'm very interested to kind of see how people kind of approach these books and, and you know, if... <laughs> If in many years from now, once all four of them are out there, whether there's like one of these situations where you know people trying to get people into the liberation series will go, oh yeah, you've got to start with this one. This is like the best book to read first, and then you do this one, and then you do this one, and then you do this one. Um, or whether or not you know people will be like, yeah, it doesn't really matter what order you read them in, just you know go for whatever one you think appeals to you first. Um, I get the feeling. I very much get the feeling that people would probably do the colours I see Hyena Boy, Boy as a recommended order for the first two books. Um whereas the, the second two books oh again again I think think they would probably go for a no doors allowed then um the fourth book order but I don't know they might flip that around because uh no doors allowed has the happier ending um and I'm, I'm I'm doing happier like this um no doors allowed definitely has a happy resolution um I mean it doesn't tie up everything in a nice neat bow but it definitely has a, a happy ending a positive ending um whereas the fourth book has this kind of uncertain ending um which is, you know, like this kind of what's going to happen next, is everybody going to be okay sort of ending. So I think in terms of, you know, how people want things to end, they might be like, oh no, 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 read No Doors Allowed Last, because that's that's one where you get the nice ending, um, whereas the fourth book, I'm still not giving you the name of the fourth book, <laughs> whereas the fourth book, um, it, you know, it, it's, it's shorter and it starts after and finishes before <laughs> the before no, no doors allowed so it, it takes up this section of time within no doors allowed but it starts after and finishes before <laughs> so there's you know it there, there's that to it as well so if you're sort of like yeah so i, I, I think people might argue that it makes sense to finish with no doors allowed because that ends at the furthest point in the, in the timeline but again I don't know people might go for and say no you need to read it in this really random crazy order that doesn't make any sense um but I imagine most people will probably go first part of the timeline then second part of the timeline and more often than not because chronology you know is you know there is a, a definite chronology to it it is you know it is written in an order <laughs> not precise order but it is written in an order um so yeah it, it's it's one of those things where it's going to be interesting to sort of see how it kind of develops as as it develops and then obviously there are the spin-off books which are definitely set after and definitely part of the universe but their own thing hence they will have their own series title might also be a third. <laughs> I have, to my credit, 
started writing The Shadows Beneath the Light third book, as I said I would. But the same night I finished writing Rowan, which is the second of the um, spin-off books, I, I might have realised there was a third story set a couple of years later. Might be a third book. <laughs> Although whether it, it remains, uh, I think at the moment it's going to be part. I mean, I'm I'm going to have to adjust the um the possible series title. And it is just a possible series title at the moment. It's not a definite series title. I haven't definitely decided what the title of this series is going to be called yet. Um, it's just a possible title that I've got in my head, and my, I've already sort of mentally kind of adjusted it to accommodate for the third character. And then possibly accommodate for a fourth character if I decide there needs to be a fourth book. Um, I'm sort of toying with a little bit at the moment. And this has kind of come from when I was originally thinking about the um, a future of, of the characters and the future of the child characters that I know, knew were going to have grown up by that sort of point. Um, I actually wanted to focus on different characters, um, but I couldn't quite work out what the stories were, and it was only really when uh, the character of Toby kind of came into my head that I kind of went, oh, oh okay, that's that's where they, these stories are. Um, and then it was only sort of after I'd sort of finished Rowan's story that I kind of realised, oh, now I know what this character's story is and uh yeah so I'm in um I might not be reviewing at the moment I, I might be spending a day my days writing a chapter a day <laughs> whilst also writing a scene for another project and that's that's the way I'm, I'm kind of doing it I'm doing um I'm doing a scene for the Shadows of the Light story I'm edit editing a chapter for No Doors Allowed, I'm editing a chapter for Toby, and then I'm spending the rest of my day writing this third book. <laughs> I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible person, but I'm also a terrible person who knows I've got the time to do this. <laughs> and I, I just, I could not, I could not switch myself off enough to do the reviewing. Um, it would have felt like I was being too lazy after all the work that I've been doing. So I've, at some point I will eventually go back to reviewing stuff. I want to go back to reviewing stuff. But whilst I've got the time and the energy, even though I really thought I needed a break, I couldn't give myself the break. So <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, um, I guess that's everything for this one. Um, as I'm hoping you can work out, um, so this is going out Friday the 19th, um, from Saturday the 20th, which is the day after this goes up, until Wednesday the 24th, Hi and a Boy will be free. That is your promo, I think. Um, right. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to picking up your free copy of Pie and a Boy over the next five days. I hope you're looking forward to see what I'm talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!